presented and published in some of the most reputed conference and journals in India and the world. You can also watch her 12 weeks online FD, FDP course, faculty development course, titled Appreciating Linguistics, a typological approach on the very popular NPTEL platform. So, uh, Dr. Shah is a wonderful speaker. I'm sure that you are going to enjoy her, uh, enjoy her talk a lot. So, thank you so much for giving your precious time and thank you. uh, sharing your, you know, uh, thoughts on the topic. Dr. Sahu, over to you, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Devedi. It's, it's indeed a pleasure to be around and to meet all of you, to interact with the participants who are also fellow teachers. And uh, I must say, this is one of, uh, you know, it's one of a kind sort of an opportunity for me to uh, to interact with a group of teachers who are teaching Odia to, uh, to students wh whose native tongue is not Odia, if I'm not wrong. So that's the, that's the situation that I'm in. The teachers are primarily Odia and uh, the target group or the students who are in, in uh, Navadya Vidales, primarily they are coming from the non-Odia speaking uh, communities or the non-Odia speaking states. So um, I must say I'm extremely privileged to be here and uh, I'll try to considering the the session that has been given to me learning strategies I would primarily focusing on uh, what are the what are the tools and methods that we need to deploy to make teaching learning process better smoother and more enjoyable more interactive um, as Dr. Pankaj Tivedi he has already mentioned I'm going to I'm supposed to speak in three languages but my Hindi is uh, not really good, so I would primarily use English and Odia because I feel a little uncomfortable when I when I mess up with the gender marking in Hindi. Uh, so uh, I would rather avoid, but uh, I hope uh, two languages should be okay uh, because I myself, I'm also a non-native Hindi speaker, though I uh, do interact in Hindi and almost my Hindi fluency is native-like. Uh, but I avoid uh, this language when I when I talk about uh, academic things because I don't have that kind of an expertise. So my apologies for that. I would primarily focus on English and Odia. Mostly Odia. It's going to be an interactive session. Uh, I have just a handful of slides, um, but we'll we'll talk more. We'll interact more. That's that kind of a session I'm looking forward to. And thank you for the wonderful introduction. And and I take it as a as a privilege. Thank you. So uh, how, how is it, <clears throat> I'm sorry, how is it going to be? We'll have uh, 50 minutes or 45 minutes talk followed by 15 minutes discussions or something like that? That would be the, yeah, that would be it. Yeah. Okay. Um, otherwise also, if you, if you want to ask something in the middle of my lecture, please feel free. I would be happy to engage um, in communication because I'm going to talk about the communication strategies in the context of teaching learning and NPTEL course is available those who are interested to know about language typology kindly have a look at it that was my you know I was uh, I must say that was in uh, that was my maiden attempt uh, I tried to do something for the first time in a web platform uh, but in case uh, in case uh, you want to check you can always go for that thank you so uh, what I'll do I'll share my slides um, okay and uh, please feel free to ask me questions as and when you you like. Okay. Yeah, we can see your slides. Yes. Yeah, slide is visible. Slide show, right? Slide is visible. Um, is it? Okay, if I keep it like this, or I'll yeah, move this like this. Okay, it's okay. okay. All right, thank you. So that will be actually uh, convenient for me, so that I can juggle uh, between the two, uh, you know, two kind of um, tabs. Thank you. Um, so that's my that's the title of my presentation: language learning strategies. Uh, and uh, I'm going to primarily talk about the types, the classifications. Uh, I'll focus on theories initially, but eventually I would like to um, sort of do some experience sharing and then being a language teacher besides being a linguist i also teach english language i used to teach i don't teach it anymore but then i used to deal with english language teaching so uh, the challenges uh, that we that we encounter as a teacher 
and then how to overcome and what sort of tools to be deployed. That's what we are going to discuss. OK, to begin with, uh, my favorite author, Steven Pinker. Um, those who are interested to know language sciences, uh, maybe um, you, can, you can always refer to his book. So one of his finest books would be The Language Instinct, uh, where, uh, where he has uh, written um, that I have never met a person who is not interested for language. So language comes to us naturally. Um, just by being human beings, uh, we, we, you know, we are kind of endowed with uh, a biological language faculty. professor fish swim, um, let's say birds fly and humans talk. Just by being humans, you like we communicate, we talk, and our, our like the language that comes to us so naturally, so instinctively, that we uh, like we we deal with language in multiple domains, in multiple aspects of uh, um, of our day-to-day -day communication. We don't pay much attention to the in-depth study of language and how it is used in our day-to-day -day life. Um, but we may not do scientific research in language. But all of us are language enthusiasts. All of us are language users. So um, on that note, where, when, when we realize, us, like when we are reading a statement like this, I've never met a person who is not interested for language. Just by being a human, we are using this language. And then um, it, has been, uh, it has been an interesting topic for all of us. And particularly in the context of teaching, teaching learning as a process, we mentioned, like uh, I would like to mention here, that um, the learning strategies, when, when I'm going to talk about the learning strategies, my focus is primarily going to be the language learning strategies. In this particular context, we are going to talk about Odia. Um, uh, but the theories that remain same, and uh, one uh, sort of, you know, kind of one term that I would highlight here, I'm not going to use the terms like second language or foreign language, rather I would say additional language. The one, the language that I'm, or the language learning or the language teaching, teaching strategy that I'm going to highlight here is related to Odia, but the general theories are going to be discussed. Okay, so what are the questions I have um, in connection with the language learning strategies? Um, what do you think? Considering uh, Pinker, Steve Pinker is saying um, he has never met a person uh, who is not interested in language. And I just mentioned following Chomsky, probably I would say that here. Um, just by being humans, we are endowed with something called language faculty. So, I'm a language faculty. We believe that we have a generative paradigm, right? Um, uh, and then, may I request the participants to keep uh, the mic on mute? Otherwise, it's a little distracting. Okay, so um, maybe the the host can mute others. Uh, so, there are three languages here. Uh, sorry, three questions here that I'm going to ask. Um, just by being a human, when you are speaking a language, does it mean that you can teach a language? Let's say, uh, I'm, a, I'm an Odia speaker. Odia is my first language. More matra bhasa Odia, mukhare Odia kohuji. College re mo English re padhuji. Hindi re bhi mo near native fluency achi. Kintu mo Hindi padhi pari biki. Jadiyo mo Hindi kohuji, mo Hindi padhi pari bini. Jadiyo mo Odia kohuji. Not necessary that I can I can uh, teach Odia. So, so just by being a speaker, you cannot be a be a teacher of that particular language. So that is the question we need to discuss. And then what are the specific qualities one must have when uh, you are teaching a language? So the question here is: Is it always true that a person who can speak a language can teach a language? So my uh, this question I would like you to remember and then um, maybe try to try to get back to me with the answer by the end of the session if you think yes just by just by being a speaker of a language you can actually teach a language whether that is true or not then the second question are the native teachers or speakers immune to errors in language teaching so so the so this is again related to the first question first question uh, if if you know a language can you really teach a language then the second question is just by being a native speaker is it, are you immune to the errors? That means that since you are speaking a language, you are not really going to make any mistake. Is it really true? Uh, let's say I'm speaking, like uh, considering I'm a native speaker of Odia, I speak uh, I speak it fluently, and then this is my first language, my mother tongue, everything I was born and brought up in Odia, uh, in Orissa. So does it mean that, more, like the kind of Odia, or if ever I teach 
um, teach ODL language classroom, am I immune to making uh, errors? No, that's probably that's not true. Again, you think about it. These are the questions you should uh, get an idea by the by the end. Like you should get an answer by the by the end of the session. And then the third question is: Do you think the non-native teachers slash speakers who share their L1 with the learners better blessed <clears throat> to understand the problems of second language teaching? Um, as I mentioned, let's let's remove second language with additional language for our generic understanding because um, second language has a specific definition. Probably, I would I would rather be more comfortable to use additional language. So, do you think the non-native teachers? Who share their L1 with the learners? Let's say um, you being an Odia speaker, do you think when you speak Odia to another Odia child, your experience is going to be different than when you are when you are uh, teaching Odia, uh, Odia to a non Odia, um, like you know, to a non Odia speaking child? So your target group is going to be different. You you your first language is Odia. You are a native speaker of Odia, but what you are doing, you have to you have two different um, students that you have in front of you. One of them is an uh, is a native Odia speaker. The other one is a non-native speaker. So, what kind of differences would you would you uh, you know kind of experience? Do you think when you teach the one who speaks Odia at home, your teaching as a job is going to be interesting, or your teaching as a job is going to be uh, going to be easier rather than the child who doesn't speak Odia? So, your strategies are going to be different. The methods are going to be different, and then the tools that you use that is going to be different. So, these are the three questions. Let's keep that in mind. And then find out um, what should be the answer to it. <clears throat> okay, so um, as we always do, before I move to uh, language learning strategies, let's get an idea what are the different kinds of language teaching classrooms we have. Very briefly, this is kind of a literature review. Um, so just quickly, I'll go through it. What I understand by first language or second language or foreign language, and then what which category are we going to keep our children here? Um, because our target group or, or the or the group of teachers that who are assembled here uh, in this virtual platform when you deal with a group of children or students that you are going to that you are going to communicate with or or interact with what is what will be what will be the status of odia in their language you know kind of competence or in their language repository so uh, when we when we talk about teaching odia uh, who are like the children who are studying in over there Dallas, so obviously Let's count it as an additional language that they would have. So second, quote unquote, is generally used to refer to any language other than the first language. That's the very generic linguistic centric definition. Any language that is not your first language can be considered as your second language. But again, the, de the, the definitions might vary. Um, and there has been a huge critique which has been, you know, so th there are multiple definitions which are emerging in second language. May I ask you, what is your second language? What do you think? What is the second language that you think you are, you know, kind of um, using? Um, English, right? English, right? In most English. of the cases, it's, so uh, you can get it from the board certificate, second language English, SLE, right? So for us, English is going to be second language because that's one of the official languages of our country. And uh, also uh, it has, it is the primary medium of instruction in the in the academic uh, domain so which is why um, we count english as the second language so our english language teaching classroom is going to be different and when we look for languages like chinese or french or german japanese all of these are going to be foreign languages for us so our foreign language teaching classroom are uh, you know our second language teaching classroom and then the first language even if i was an odia speaker but then i also studied odia at school so uh, first language teaching second language teaching and foreign language teaching each of these subjects, they would demand specific kind of methods to be dealt with when you are teaching that particular language. But what is what is the commonality? The commonality is that it's a language teaching classroom. Second language ho ki, foreign language ho ki, apunagar first language ho. So there is a commonality ho chye, jodha ho chye ki language based, bhasa upra me kahu chandi. So we have to focus on that particular commonality that binds all the language teaching classrooms together. Um, so to be on a surface side, let's use the term additional language, which is going to be more appropriate. So your target group, the, the group of children that you are going to teach, they for them, Odia is an additional language that they are going to learn. And their learning environment is absolutely formal, which is why we are going to call it learning, not really acquisition. I hope most of you would be familiar with the terms or all of you rather 
being teachers, being language teachers, uh, the, the difference between language acquisition and language learning. Acquisition is a, is a spontaneous process where you do not make any efforts. As a child, you acquire language, but, but as an adult, you learn language. So while learning, you actually make a lot of conscious efforts to learn a language. But in our case, in the, in the schools, the situation is a little tricky, a little different. And how it is different? Biologically, this, these children are young, right? So um, those who are familiar with critical period hypothesis, if you know, until the certain, certain age, the children are able to acquire multiple languages. Um, and beyond the age of puberty, you do not really, uh, that, that acquisition process, it gets stopped in the human brain. In a case, biologically younger. So they are still under the age of puberty, or they still they, they, they still have the ability, or they are still under the category of this critical period. So by, even if biologically they're younger, they are not really learning Odia in a natural environment. Rather, they are being taught Odia in a formal classroom teaching setup. So this is this is a unique kind of a situation. So we have to we have to look forward, we have to adapt a hybrid method of teaching. So we have to take a couple of insights or a couple of tools from uh, uh, from the acquisition uh, domain and a couple of tools have to be have to be drawn from the learning domain and you have to put it together, do a mix and match and then devise your own strategies. So that's how we are going to plan for when we are teaching this particular group or this particular um, category of learners. So your learners are young, yet they are learning the language in a formal environment. Then upon a, Acquisition, our learning row, hybridized model of no follow up. That, that's what uh, again my my sort of my research or my experience and my learning says. <clears throat> so I'm going to focus on uh, additional language just to give a brief overview of what is second and what is foreign. I have already told you. And uh, those who are interested to know a little more about it, you can always refer to this kind of a definition. So when it is second language, categorically English in India, that's going to be our, that is, that is the second language for most of the Indians. So this functions as a recognized means of communication. So that means English for us, it's the lingua franca. And then it's, it's one of the uh, official languages of our country. And then this is also used in the administration. It's the language of education. It's also, um, it's also in, in certain cases, we do use it in the entertainment purpose also. <laughs> so considering um, the load, the functional load of English is pretty high, you can, you can always refer to Pandhari Pandey's work to understand what is functional load. So English is going to be our second language. And uh, the difference between the foreign language is that this is rarely used in the spoken discourse as a recognized medium of communication. So considering the, the target group that we have in this particular um, discussion, so our children are not going to be under the under this category, neither they are in this category. So Odia is definitely not a foreign language to them and Odia is definitely not the second language to them also. So we need to find out a balance when we are trying to approach the learning uh, methodologies or the learning or the learning strategies for them. Okay. So that's about uh, uh, your second versus foreign language and a couple of things I have already mentioned how acquisition is going to be different from learning. I have already shared uh, um, um, an article uh, written by like Crash in 1981. Most of us were familiar with. Please have a look at it later when you have time, not immediately, but maybe later you can have a look at it. So learning takes place in two ways. One is implicit learning, the other one is explicit learning. So implicit learning, what happens there? It takes place without intentionality. So that means you are you are thrown into a setting, you are thrown into a linguistic environment, or you are thrown into um, into a particular uh, yeah particular linguistic environment where you are not really making any conscious effort. Rather, you are trying to, or rather, you are acquiring it, or rather, you are learning it without any uh, conscious effort. That is the reason why we are calling it implicit learning. And then when you say explicit learning, it is definitely a conscious process. So considering we got to know these are the two broad areas or the two broad divisions of learning, what category would your teaching fall into of these two? What do you think? Your target group or your learners, they are following which of these methods, implicit or explicit? Think about the non-native Odia children in your school. And then when you are talking about the language learning strategies for them, which category do they fall into? That is explicit, ma'am. 
uh, okay why do you think so suresh naik thank you i can get one language at explicit learning what, what, what could be the possible reason feel free to communicate in any either english or odia i'm okay with both madam agya uh, ये जो इम्प्लीसिट लर्निंग एक्चुअली द स्टूडेंट्स नॉन माने हिंदी स्पीकिंग इन स्टेट दे आर इम्पोज टू स्टडी द उड़िया लैंग्वेज दे हैव नो आई राइट नेव लैंग्वेज मीनिंग कर भी राइट प्राइमरी लैंग्वेज इज हिंदी बट दे दे हैव टू लर्न उड़िया आज उड़िया स्कूल इन स्कूल in a formal way right uh-huh. so primarily yeah so i i see an answer here they are not native speakers exactly and uh, sir apan say koile um jehtu or, or because of the fact that they do not come from native odia speaking families and then um and then they are learning this language in a formal school environment we are going to count it in the category of explicit learning because they are necessarily or they are definitely making a conscious process however you need to also pay uh, attention to another domain so the other domain is that they are they are uh, you know kind of exposed to a linguistic environment where a lot of odia speaking children are also around so very likely they are going to pick up languages or they are going to pick up phrases words and sentences without really intentionally making an effort which is why there is a term called picking up a language that is that is that happens implicitly and then there is also a conscious process to learn it so calling it explicitly uh, or learning like uh, you know calling it absolutely an explicit process would probably not do justice to the kind of language environment that they are in primarily explicit but yes it also has certain implicit component um, within that so very likely they would pick up uh, they would pick up words phrases and sentences and which which will help them to to you know to learn this language better beyond the classroom so once they are inside the classroom and then you are de- you know kind of you are devising or you are deploying formal methods it's going to be in the explicit learning category and the other one it's going to be in the implicit learning category uh, okay so if uh, if they don't have any native speakers around then probably it, it will primarily go into the explicit learning so you find it out and then you decide for yourself what kind of a linguistic environment the children are so plus like it's like plus and minus plus conscious effort it's going to be explicit minus conscious effort it's going to be implicit accordingly accordingly we are going to find out what kind of uh, learning strategies are going to be deployed okay um and then here um again very uh, so sort of some sort of similar approaches i'm going to talk about one is going to be there are two words which i must ask you to pay attention to one is going to be orientation and then the other one is going to be motivation so these two phrases are extremely important in any of the language teaching classroom so when you when you talk about the orientation it's the primarily like our teaching learning uh, methods or methodologies are primarily learners oriented now so things have changed the table has has actually turned so instead of making it an instructor centric we are trying to make it more learner centric so we have to pay attention we have to do the need analysis when we are teaching a particular language so the orientation of the learners that plays a vital role in the uh, in the language teaching classroom so is the case with motivation so when i say orientation either it's going to be an extrinsic orientation or intrinsic orientation so you can link it with explicit and implicit so when it is extrinsic orientation um the 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 factors would include uh, something like social expectations and here uh, probably the example of english it's going to be going to be a better example if i speak better english i would be more accepted in my like among my peer groups so that's going to be uh, because because of uh, let's say the medium of instruction of the school is english and if i do not speak well then probably i would be considered as an outcast if that kind of an attitude the child develops then that would be an extrinsic motivation so internally the child doesn't feel like that rather because of the peer pressure because of the societal pressure the child is trying to learn it as quickly as possible so that's one kind of an orientation and and when you talk about intrinsic 
that means you are you are in like you know internally you are motivated and this internal motivation primarily comes for um for the interest in knowing different culture and different people when i bring in the 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 relation of like the discussion of culture it's mainly related to the adult language learning but in case of in case of the children maybe you can you can think about to make friends so when you when you talk about making friends and to know uh, to know things about uh, uh, things about what happens in the friends family whether whether uh, the child can understand um, understand the local uh, you know kind of uh, maybe the local customs local traditions better if the child is a little more mature but then uh, if they are very young then probably the intrinsic motivation or intrinsic orientation wouldn't work for them but if they are at a stage where uh where they are able to understand what is culture what is recipe what is cuisines what is practices wh what are the practices all of these things if they have an idea then pro then uh you can definitely talk about the intrinsic motivation that that they would have so this extrinsic and intrinsic they are loosely connected or probably i would say they are vaguely um, uh interrelated when you bring in the implicit and then the explicit explicit learning strategies that we talk about when we discuss the uh, language learning methods or language teaching or language learning methods okay and then the other the other one is motivation so this is where we struggle the language teachers we struggle the most um i i keep giving uh, this example i used to give this examples to my students when i was teaching english um is that no matter how much of theory i may discuss in the class no matter how many tools and uh, and methodologies are, uh, that I, that i talk about and irrespective of whatever linguistic environment that i'm that i'm exposing you to during the classroom if the learners are not motivated it is a herculean task it's a mammoth task for the language teacher to make sure that the, the you know the learner learned it so that becomes extremely difficult so eventually it's the learners they have to be motivated and being like by, just by being teachers what should be our work our responsibility is that to motivate them to learn a language be it odia be it hindi be it english any of the languages that or for that matter you go to the foreign languages chinese french german and, uh, and japanese all of these they do not really um, like without the learners motivation it's going to be difficult so the other additional responsibility that i have as a language teacher is that to motivate these kids to learn a language which is indeed a more difficult task than teaching itself so motivating has always been tricky and you have to find out um you know the unconventional ways or the or the the probably you have to think about the individual needs of each of the speakers or each of the uh, each of your target group so that you can actually assess them on the basis of the language learning needs that they have so motivation as a task they have to be motivated but but uh since we are the teachers here our responsibility is going to be to make sure that we are doing our uh you know kind of we are doing our job seriously when uh like sort of by trying to motivate them to learn a language and in this case our concern is is odia but the theory again that remains the same okay so these are a couple of things that i wanted to highlight when you talk about um language learning as a task or language learning as a responsibility and and as a teacher what do you have to do okay and then how do you make it efficient how do you make it effective so these are the four primary methods that you may deploy again i reiterate depending on the need of your learners if your if your uh, if your target group has an interesting linguistic environment let's say a lot of odia speakers are around uh, are in the surrounding areas uh, your language learning methods are going to be different and if as i see in one of the chat boxes uh, one of our participants is saying they don't have any native speakers around so then you have to find out um, like what sort of uh, strategies that you need to deploy so depending on the need you have to uh, uh, you know kind of you have to talk about things or you have to mention or you have to change the the um, teaching uh, process that you are going to adopt okay so the first one is that um to make sure that the that the teaching learning process is effective and ef and efficient what do you have to do you have to have a good command or a comprehension of the subject matter so that means you as a teacher you should also know the um, the the system like language is a system all of us and odia also has a system it has a particular language particular grammar so uh, and then the when when you talk about the functional uses of language we need to find out 
all these grammatical rules that we have acquired so far or we have learned by far uh, in what ways we are going to we are going to use it in the day to day discourse or in in a communication context so your knowledge or our knowledge as a teacher or as a like our like as a teacher or as an instructor rather we must be efficient enough we must be our teaching strategy should be effective enough enough with a strong command and comprehension of the subject matter and we should also have a specialized vocabulary in our repository in our linguistic repository we must know or we must uh, you know we must be familiar with um, with the uh, okay uh, odia kai bhi theek hai um let me finish this this slide then i'll i'll switch to odia so uh, first hoche amara amara subject matter we have we should understand what we are teaching ame kon padho jodi seta ame jane ma darkar and we also uh, must know the specialized vocabulary ame jete bele kahu chanti odia re au ame jete bele padhi ba odia re amara vocabulary should be different amara kahila bele generally ame kon karu a lot of colloquial words are used colloquial in the sense of regional specific words kintu ame jete bele gote formal medium ko jaucho ame padhaucho we are more into formal setting we are more into uh, you know professional language of the written medium of communication mo gote example debi gote um, ओडिया रे गोटे टर्म अछि कॉपुला माने इंग्लिश रे अछि कॉपुला जोटा कि हमरा सेटा ओडिया रे अछि आ ओटे मते जदी आपन पचारिबे आपन घ ना कोन मु कहबी मु अनिंदिता किंतु मते जदी गोटे फॉर्मल जगह रे के इंट्रोड्यूस करबे पंकज सर मते इंट्रोड्यूस करले इंग्लिश रे किंतु पंकज सर जदी ओडिया कहिथान ते से मते कहिथान ते जे ये हो जंती और ये आजरो माने आजरो जे स्पीकर कि आजरो जे वक्ता तो मु कहबिनी प्रोबेब्ली आज जे हमरा सेशन नेबे तांको से से अनिंदिता साहू ओटंती सो आम जो कथा हो एवर से अनिंदिता मु अनिंदिता साहू अटे मुझे कहनी आप पचारे मुझे भी मन अनिंदिता ए वर्ब ना आम कहला बेले कहीदेट मु अनिंदिता कि लिखला बेले मानने जेनेली इन फर्मल सेटिंग आम सब लिखा मु अनिंदिता अटे कि आप देखिए नोट बोर्ड गुडार जो ओडा गवर्नमेंट रही नोटिकेसन आसे अटे अटंती एगुड़ा बहुत फ्रिक्वेन्टली यूज हो किंतु आमे जते बेले पढो कथा कहो जते आमे पकर सेटा नाही तेनो दीटा दीटा जको डोमेन जते बेले डिफरेंट हो जे आमर वोकैबुलरी बे डिफरेंट हो जे आमर ग्रामटिकल आइटम्स बे डिफरेंट हो जे सो यू एज एन ओडिया टीचर यू हैव टू डिसाइड व्हिच वन टू स्टिक टू व्हेन यू व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ओडिया लैंग्वेज इन अ फॉर्मल क्लासरूम सेटिंग तेनो आपन को कहबा पय पडिबो जे को माने केमिथि वोकैबुलरी आपन कहिबारी यूज करचो ने केमिथि वोकैबुलरी आपन पढेबारी यूज करबे सेटा को भी यू नीड टू पे अ लॉट ऑफ अटेंशन सो यू नीड टू हैव अ मास्टरी अ मास्टरी इन द स्पेशलाइज्ड वोकैबुलरी तापर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग मेथड्स जते बेले आमे ओडिया पढेबा ड्यू टू दिस लिटिल चिल्ड्रन सो देन इट्स नॉट अबाउट द मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट प्राइमरीली वी हैव टू फोकस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स डू दे हैव इन ओडिया अमर जो चारिटा लिसनिंग स्पीकिंग रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग स्किल्स अछि फॉर एनी लैंग्वेज बीट इंग्लिश बीट हिंदी बीट तेलुगु तमिल जहा भी लैंग्वेज अपन कहंतु प्रोफिशिएंसी जते बेले देखा जाय दिस फोर स्किल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड यू नीड टू हैव अ गुड लिसनिंग स्किल रीडिंग स्पीकिंग सॉरी लिसनिंग स्पीकिंग रीडिंग एंड राइटिंग क्रोनोलॉजिकली एमिथिंग हैज अ फर्स्ट लिसनिंग देन स्पीकिंग देन रीडिंग एंड देन राइटिंग तेनो सेमन कर प्रॉब्लम ता कोठी रहू छि कहि बारे प्रॉब्लम हो छि ना लिखि बारे प्रॉब्लम हो छि इफ दे हैव प्रॉब्लम्स इन स्पीकिंग स्किल्स how to address that if they have problems in writing skills how to address it so depending and listening and reading these are the more rudimentary skills if you are a healthy human then you can listen to any language but listening and hearing are a bit different so that we are going to monitor the hearing the khali you are you are really not paying any attention what is happening out there but in listening you are carefully listening your activity the activity that you are doing is is extremely careful that means apna efforts loge ki sunjanti then listening uh, our speaking डिफरेंस कौन कहतु ना चार्ट भी लिखी पारे कहीं चार्ट गुड़ा भी चेक करुच्छे प्राइमरीली स्क्रिप्ट ओके तो तेणु जदि आप स्क्रिप्ट जानि ना पढ़ी पारे लिखी पारे सो लिसनिंग आउ स्पीकिंग मेनली स्पीच सेन्ट्रिक रिडिंग एंड रईटिंग दैट इज मेनली स्क्रिप्ट सेन्ट्रिक तो सही मन रखे तेनाली आज लिखा हाँ सर कहतु 
प्रथनाल लिखन प्रथन रे होची जिबाय जो कहिबा सुनिबा कहिबा सुनिबा आरटे रे जाउची लिखन हां लिखन रे आपण पढिबा पढिबा हां आता आपण कोण ता मेनली डिफरेंस होची ना गोटे स्क्रिप्ट रे होची तादरे जदी आपण लँग्वेज स्क्रिप्ट नाही आमरो केते गोटे लँग्वेज होची जोटे रे स्क्रिप्ट नाही मो से से डिस्कशन पे ना जिबिनी बहुत गुडा कमरो माने ऑस्ट्रोएशियाटिक लँग्वेजेस टिबेटो बोमन लँग्वेजेस हर के स्क्रिप्ट नाही तो तारो टीचिंग मेथड्स इज दैट दैट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी डिफरेंट आमर फोकस एठी होची ओडिया ऊपर ओडिया रो गोटे स्क्रिप्ट अछि ओडिया रे आमर आम आम पिला लिखि जानती आम पिला पढ़ि जानती तेनो जते बेले आमी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग मेथड्स को एड्रेस करिबा आमी देखिबो जे तंकर प्रॉब्लम त कोठी होची समन को सुनिबारे त असुविधा हो नथिबो माने जदी समन भाषा का जानिबे ताले समन सुनिबे डेफिनेटली माने सुनिले ही जानिबे सेमिथि हिसाब रे आसुची तो तापर हमें देखिबा लिसनिंग तापर स्पीकिंग कहि बारे तंग प्रॉब्लम होछि कि वेरी लाइकली कहि बारे प्रॉब्लम होथिबो आ तापर लेखि बारे त आहुरी टिके कष्ट हो कहि न अनलेस दे लर्न द स्क्रिप्ट दे कांट रीड एंड राइट सो ग्रेजुअली डिफिकल्टी लेवल त बॉडी बॉडी जाउ छि तनो आमे जते बेले एज अ लैंग्वेज टीचर हमें एड्रेस करबा से ग्रुप को हमको हमको फाइंड आउट करबा पे पड़िबो जे कोन कोन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग मेथड हमें डिप्लॉय करबा जो थ्री के हमें क्लासरूम टाको इंटरेस्टिंग करि परबा जदि पिला माने कहु नहंती ता पय कोन मेथड्स रहबो जदि पिला माने लेखु नहंती ता पय कोन एठी आपन को कोनटा बेसी प्रॉब्लम लागो छि क्लास रे स्पीकिंग रे प्रॉब्लम रहो छि ना राइटिंग रे रहो छि जनरली मैडम रहो छि पिला ने राइटिंग राइटिंग रे स्पीकिंग आउ राइटिंग डीटा डीटा चेक करे इंग्लिश रे कोन कोन राइटिंग इंग्लिश रे स्पीकिंग रे बेसी प्रॉब्लम आसे मु इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टीचिंग क्लासरूम कथा कहू छि आपन ताको लेखिबा पय देबे से माने लेखि कि दे देबे किंतु तांको आपण कहबे सेति कि को गोटे मिनिट कि आधा मिनिट कोहन तो पिला कहबे नि काहे कि ना मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दे फील शाई अबाउट इट से जो मोटिवेशन जिन सेट आसी जाय ओरिएंटेशन आसी जाय भीतर को तेनो सेटा को आपण कर जदि माने दीटा जकर प्रॉब्लम रहुतिबो डेफिनेटली म जानती बोथ स्पीकिंग एंड रीड एंड राइटिंग बट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज व्हिच एरिया इज मोर मोर यू नो काइंड ऑफ मोर ग्रेव एंड व्हिच वन नीड्स मोर अटेंशन तो सही हिसाब रे वी हैव टू ओके डेटा जकर रहो जे लेखि बारे पे रहो छी और स्पीकिंग रे पे रहो छी लेखि बारे हेले स्क्रिप्ट रे प्राइमरीली मेन रीजन रहो तो हमर जुक्ता अक्षर पाए जुक्ता अक्षर टा हम पिला मनन को पाए टिके असुविधा करू छी काहेकि ना गोटे यूनिफॉर्मिटी नाही क ख ग घ व रे यूनिफॉर्मिटी अछि काहेकि ना सेटा गोटी लेटर रहो छी एंड देन कवर चवर जदी आपन देखि देखि जबे क च ट त प हे के आसी जाउ छी तनो सेतरे कि जो असुविधा कि त हमर त त कहिबा कि प्र कहिबा कि न कहिबा समथिंग लाबे जुक्त अक्षर आसे गला बेलु को सेटा राइटिंग रे समान को प्रॉब्लम होबो ता छरा ग्रामेटिकल एरर ग्रामेटिकल एरर्स पे टिके टिके रहू छ सो दीस आर द प्रॉब्लम एरियाज दैट वी हैव ओके एंड देन वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द राइट काइंड ऑफ मेथड्स फॉर दीस थिंग्स एंड एज आई मेंशन यू नीड टू हैव स्पेशल कम्युनिकेशन स्ट्रेटजीज जते बेले जदी आपन कर प्रॉब्लम स्पीकिंग रे अछि व्हाट शुड बी योर कम्युनिकेशन स्ट्रेटजी रीडिंग इन दी करै पे बेसी आगे सर is there a question okay uh, if there is no question i request the participants to keep the mic on mute um then um, depending on the on the problem area uh, that you that you have say so sabre amko we have to devise okay um Madam. questions i'll i'll Madam. get back to it a little later hindi pilan ko pai kon kariba au local bhasha to definitely alaga naik lekhu chanti local bhasha prabhav pakai of course that definitely sethi pai ga gote point thila sorry what is that madam gote kotha koya ko chau chi again je gote bado samasya hau chi dekha jau chi actually hau chi amara jo dhvani swaradhani swaradhani re joda dirgha dhvani gula ach se gula ame hau chi pahila bele pahina tha गणेशन सब राइट right. पर्सनल दृष्टि रो त हो छि से ठीक नै तनो से हो छि तालब बेस लेखला कि मुद्रन ने सब लेखला सेटअप रे हां समस्या तन ता ऊपर जदि हो छि किछु उठे माने एक्जेक्टली हम बुझु छि ए प्रॉब्लम का लिंग्विस्टिक्स डिस्कशंस पे बहुत हो छि ओडिसा रे या ऊपर मु केतरा जगह रे बे सुनु छि सब विषय डिस्कशन चले छि जे तीनटा सब को काटी के हम गोटे सब करि परिबा कि हेबे जोडे कि टिके इम्प्रैक्टिकल लागु छि इना पनि काहे ना um take a difficulty hey pare spelling bedu kintu that's a logical solution au e problem ta we are aware of it 
um, and there is a long discussion going on, been for a while um, among the linguist circle. Um, so immediately, we can't answer any answer. But I'll just say that we have a problem to answer. We have to answer the question. We have to answer the specialist manager. We have to answer the question. But in this case, we have to answer the question. We have to answer the differences. We have to answer the question. 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 किंतु आमे कोहिला बेले नौती टेको जेम्ती कोच जो काले टेको भी सेम्ती कोच जो तो सेटेको डे प्रॉब्लम रोची ओडिया रे हिंदी रे सेटेन नहीं एक्चुअली हिंदी रे समय ने कौन कौन दे छोटी बड़ी राइट तो सेटेन भी तेरे टिके डिफरेंस रोची आउ से जो दिखो आउ हर्षो से ना तेरे टिके डिफरेंस ओके सो आई � तो आवश्यक भी तेरे डिफरेंस लोग चाहिए नहीं रे हाँ तेरे जो उस वाला जो तालाब जो सहूची उड़िया रे तो पैर पर है उसे तो कुछ नहीं हो सहूची डिफरेंस वो उसे कुछ नहीं है पल्ले बिल्कुल हो गया हाँ इन दिले हाँ इन वाले जो अंदर गुरु बस कास लेके बात की कास इन दिले लेके लाल तो हम तो सहूची उ Again, again. Okay, good. In this discussion, maybe just quickly I'll try to sort of give you a couple of more points, then we'll come back to it. Okay. So, in this case, the primary problems of AI are wrong, so we can adjust it. So, when we talk about language learning strategies, but language learning, not LLC, it should be LLS, I'm sorry. Language learning strategies, we have to talk about the first thing, our primary concern is wrong. The first concern is to identify what good language learners report they do to learn second or foreign language. In our case, we have done a research on William St. Borden in 1997. So our focus is going to be, what is a good learning strategy? Good learning strategy would be when a learner reports what they do or what he or she does when they are trying to learn a second or a foreign language. In our case, let's say additional language. Additional language that I am going to teach you, so that I am going to teach you, so that I am going to teach you, so that I am going to teach you, we will add it in the language learning strategies. So that I am going to teach you, any sets of operations that happen through the steps, plans, routines used by the learners during learning, so as to help better, like so as to, you know, kind of better help them understand, learn or remember new information. It's a very long definition, but primarily, these are the functions you have to follow. जब तबे वे आर टीचिंग लैंग्वेज और वे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लैंग्वेज लर्निंग स्ट्रेटजीज, वे हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट ऑपरेशंस टू बी फॉलोड, व्हाट स्टेप्स टू बी डन, व्हाट किंड ऑफ प्लांस टू बी मेड एंड व्हाट सेट ऑफ रूटीन एक्टिविटीज यू हैव टू डू, सो दैट द लर्नर्स आर गोइंग टू लर्न ओडिया शब्द डे ओडिया लाइक ओडिया रो बाकी डे अपनों को जो पिलामन को अपन पढ़ो चिंतित आंको पे दिस आर द न्यू इनफॉरमेशन तो नो वी हैव टू प्लान फॉर इट वी हैव टू वी हैव टू फॉलो सर्टेन ऑपरेशंस वी हैव टू मेक सम स्टेप्स एंड वी हैव टू डू सम प्लानिंग एंड देन वी हैव टू कीप आर्सेल्स एंगेज्ड � uh, some children, they would have uh, native Odia speaking uh, kids in the surrounding and some other children, they may or may not have it. So depending on the sociolinguistic issues that we have or the sociolinguistic competence that the children have, we have to, uh, we have to find out how to develop or how to uh, talk about the language learning strategies in these connections. So, khali sa manakura linguistic competence hame dekhi wani, sociolinguistic competence bhi dekhi wani. Society de, what kind of linguistic exposure they are getting? What kind of societal uh, parameters do they have? What kind of what kind of a linguistic environment that they are in? So all these things have to be taken into consideration when you design uh, your lesson plan or when you design your language learning activities. Okay, um, then uh, just remember uh, these are just uh, uh, I'm just talking about the taxonomy of it and then how the language learning uh, strategies work. These are the two primary things. So, what is your cognitive learning strategy? What is your metacognitive learning strategy? Communication strategies, social strategies, we will focus on this. We will focus more focus is going to be on these two, which we will highlight in red. So, when we focus on cognitive learning strategies, we will focus on the metacognitive learning. We will focus on the other two. If you want, I have already sent you the paper. You can always refer to that. But as I have mentioned, I will only focus on these two things. Because my focus is on learning strategies. But as I have mentioned, I will only focus on these two things. Because my focus is on learning strategies. 
um the so cognitive learning strategies re amko kon kariba ko hochi in a in a language language learning classroom prathame you have to clarify things so these are the steps clarification inductive inferencing deductive inferencing practice memorization and monitoring let's check it one by one odia re ame kon kariba and when you when you say clarification uh, our clarification is going to be this is these are just the steps or operations that we use and when we uh, when we clarify it that means we are we are verifying the level of the students or we are trying to figure out what is the what how many languages do they speak what kind of exposure do they have about odia and what are the social linguistic competence that they have about odia what are the linguistic competence that they have uh, i hope a linguistic competence apan mane bujhi padchu mu odia odia kete jani chi seta hochi mor linguistic competence mu odia ko kemiti use karuchi mo discourse re seta hochi mor linguistic performance तेणु जो पिला मन को आपने पढ़ु जो से आपन को देखिया पई पड़ेबो जे से मन को लिंग्विस्टिक कॉम्पिटेंस केते अछि एगुडा सब क्लेरिफिकेशन बा वेरिफिकेशन स्टेप्स रे जाउ छि तो तापर अपन कोन कोन करबे जते बेला आपन आइडेंटिफाई करले ओके दिस इज द नीड ऑफ द चाइल्ड एंड दिस इज द कॉम्पिटेंस लेवल ऑफ द चाइल्ड देन योर कंसर्न इज गोइंग टू बी इंडक्टिव रेफरेंसिंग एंड इंडक्टिव रेफरेंसिंग माने कोन इंडक्टिव मेथड होछि जे जनरल टू सॉरी पर्टिकुलर टू जनरल धर आप दस टा आइटम लाइक दस टा पिला स्टडी कर दस टा पिला पढ़ाई दायित्व मिली तेणु आप आईडेटिफाई कले लिंग स्किल प्रोब्लम रोज स्पीकिंग कौन प्रोब्लम रोज रिडिंग देन रईटिंग देन यू आर पुटिंग इट टूगेदर एंड यू आर यू आर ड्रइंग सम जेनेलेशन सो दिज जेनेलेशन दट गोइंग टू बी योर इंडक्ट इनफ्लुएंसिंग सो यू आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट कि इंडिविजुअली और पर्टिकुलाली वेन यू आर वेन यू आर trying to teach them um, any given language so many kind of behavior so many kind of tactics so many kind of technique all of these you are trying to understand it following the inductive method and if inductive method doesn't work you can go to the deductive method deductive method ta opposite so the bela kon hue apan general lo particular ko jibe um tenu apan already apan ko idea apan mundre achhe je odia ko odia grammar ko emiti padhi bi लेट्स से वोकैबुलरी केमती को इंक्रीज करा हबो रीडिंग कॉम्प्रिहेंशन मु कोन कोन देबी स्टोरी टेलिंग मेथड मपै काम करबो की को लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ चिल्ड्रन डू वी हैव इन द क्लास आर द मोर सो देयर आर थ्री मेथड्स दिस ऑडियो दिस ऑडियो विजुअल लाइक ओरल ओरल एंड विजुअल मेथड सो जदी तीनटा जको मेथड अछि मु को मेथड एथरे डिप्लॉय करबी सो दैट दे वुड बी दे वुड बी मोर बेनिफिटेड आउट ऑफ इट इफ यू कैन ब्रिंग इन ऑल द थ्री मेथड्स ओरल ओरल एंड विजुअल दैट विल बी रियली नाइस if not you have to find out what kind of deductive inferencing that you are drawing and then give them enough practice sets practice they put in the nokari be language learning methods are not going to be useful no matter how much of theories that you are going to talk about a language learning classroom must be practice session oriented without practicing um, it's not going to work so you give them small paragraphs to write or or if if you want to increase their reading comprehension um all these audio uh, you know youtube re bahut gora audio video um tools are available so you can always tell them stories you can you can make them watch a video and then panchatantra stories are the are the most wonderful medium uh, for you know kind of teaching uh, any language for that matter um the practice sessions have to be uh, have to be rigorously done or practice session have to be more thoroughly done and then you can also deploy certain a bit of memorization technique so ask them to memorize especially writing right and especially when when we bring in the script amko memorize kariya pai pade a ta kemte likha hue a ta kemte likha hue kahi na tar kono si logical formula am pakhre nahi a ta kon pai emte likha hobo kimba ko kahi ki emte likha hobo so writing ko jete bale amko jete bale ame asuchanti we have to we have to pay attention on the memorization technique so they have to memorize things and after um, uh, after the like after you followed all these steps or all these procedures you have to monitor their progress so every day if possible give them some written assignments and then try to find out ki samne kon likhile jodi apan chotiya paragraph ro arambha kale um tin line ro ki panch line ro samne likhila bele spelling mistake koti koti hochi aur primarily dipta kher re samane ko problem hot hai pare what i understand so apan kor kaam ta sete bele rohchi monitoring so cognitive method re all of these steps have to be followed so first you have to classify or sorry first you have to clarify then you have to do the inductive inferencing if not then you should go for deductive inferencing do give a lot of practice set practice sets uh, apply the memorization technique both for spelling as well as speaking mane kahi pare bhi aur lekhi pare bhi dita jagah re memorization jate use kari hobo kari bhi and eventually as a as an as an instructor you have to monitor the progress and they should also do some self monitoring 
considering these are the school kids i'm i'm not very sure how um, efficient they would be in self monitoring but just like by being the instructors or being the teachers we have to keep a record on how they are uh, they are progressing every week or how they are progressing either monthly test or weekly test something has to be done so that the monitoring process is um, is you know kind of completed so that's going to be your cognitive learning strategy that means you have to you have to apply the cognitive like you have to target their cognitive domain you have to find out or you have to mention um, cognitively what are the processes steps methods that have to be deployed and after that we also have the metacognitive and metacognitive learning strategies are primarily instructor centric and at the point where cognitive level ta apan memorization kare dele monitoring kare dele um apan jethi mane se sub mainly the child has to do it pila ta hisab re se tar jaha lekhila padla tapre se tiki re sari jauni the learning strategies would would also deal with certain metacognitive ones metacognitive re kon hochi metacognitive mane beyond cognitive what extra what additional things that you are doing metacognitive re you have to plan for it you have to prioritize it uh, like you have to prioritize which a uh, skill has to be focused jodi jodi apan ko language je speaking re pilar problem achi tale apan speaking comprehension uh, sorry speaking ka, uh, uh, practices have to be more um, apan se manan ko chutia chutia topic debe se manan ko kichi kahiba pai kahibe and then the more they speak clarity better clarity uh, would they acquire or better confidence would they have and tapre apan ko prioritize kariya pai padibe depending on the gray areas or depending depending on the problem uh, areas that they have tapre you have to set goals and unless you set goals for them ideally it should be self goals kintu sabu pila to self goal setting kari paribeni so as a teacher what do you have to do you have to you have to tell them that okay this should be your goal so by the end of the month your target should be let's say you have given somebody is just starting as a as a beginner and let's say a child doesn't even know how to um, how to write one full sentence correctly because of multiple grammatical uh constructions that that odia as a language has which is true across all indo aryan or all uh indian languages we have very complex morphology our our syntax is complex we have free word order all these are linguistics things which i don't want to bring in but then because of the because of the complexity of the languages that we that we have um you have to set the goals apano kahibe je gote week re if you if you are uh, if you are starting from simple sentences how to move to let's say five word five sentence paragraphs then maybe 10 sentence paragraph then eventually some people have to read or they have to write so you have to make sure the goals are set for the children who are uh, who are a part of your classroom and then they should do the self management it's it's a more uh, you know kind of um, interaction between the instructor and then the and then the learner that there, there should be a bridge between the two they cannot work independently if because because teaching learning as a process it runs in a cycle so that's the reason uh, both the parties they have to communicate with each other, each other and they have to um you know they have to um they have to talk to each other they have to update each other you have to update what kind of uh, steps that you are going to follow and they have to update what kind of milestones are they going to uh, they are they going to uh, achieve what kind of goals they are going to set so these two jakare like these two jakun ko equally on the same platform roi vai padiba no hale self management if the children are not able to do it uh, then the whole and like the entire uh, learning like teaching learning process is going to be flawed ओके ए जो दी का स्ट्रेटजी विषय में कहली कॉग्निटिव और मेटा कॉग्निटिव ता भीतर कॉग्निटिव स्ट्रेटजीज आपण कर जीव डायरेक्ट मेथड रे और मेटा कॉग्निटिव स्ट्रेटजीज जीव इनडायरेक्ट मेथड रे त जते बेले मो कॉग्निटिव स्ट्रेटजी डायरेक्ट मेथड में काहे की कहू छु काहे की ना दिस इज दिस इज द डायरेक्ट इंटरवेंशन एट द कॉग्निटिव लेवल द चाइल्ड हैज टू मेमोराइज थिंग्स एंड द चाइल्ड हैज टू यू नो सो आई एम नॉट रियली फोकस फोकसिंग ऑन दीस टू बट देन आई जस्ट आई जस्ट वांट यू टू हाईलाइट दैट जिते बेले आमे डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेटजीज पढु छथि अम ता भितर जहा जहा हमरो कंपोनेंट्स आसु छि वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ द मेजर कंपोनेंट इज मेमोरी मेमोराइजेशन इज अ इज एन इंपोर्टेंट थिंग इन डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेटजी एंड हु इज गोइंग टू मेमोराइज द रूल्स एंड देन मेबी द मेबी द बिगेस्ट अनलेस यू रिमेंबर द लेटर्स हाउ टू राइट द अल्फाबेट यू कांट राइट इट सो मेमोराइजेशन इज समथिंग व्हिच वी क्रिएट द मेंटल लिंकेज द मेंटल लिंकेज कथा जिते बेले मु कहू छि आपन जिते बेले कॉल लिखु छथि इमेज साउंड को कोऑर्डिनेट साउंड लेटर लिंग्विस्टिक्स ऑर्थोग्राफिक एंड फोनेटिक 
आउ जेते बेले आमे क बोली लेखिले यू कैन विजुअलाइज व्हेन आई एम राइटिंग क um you you also get an idea that the sound is going to be k the ame amara ta english bhali anu je ch lekh le ketebele ch padiba ketebele sh padiba ketebele k padiba ch a i r apan lekhundu seta he jiba chair ch e m i s t r y he jiba chemistry then amara to same thing honi ame k jodi lekhu jodi k padu jodi except ei jo tinta sa katha apan kahile se sa gude ko chadi dele baki jo jo k lekhle ame k padiba kh lekhle ame kh padiba तेन आम जो मेमोराइजेशन जिन चाइल्ड हैज टू रिमेम्बर हाउ द लेटर क इज लिंक्ड विद द साउंड क हाउ द लेटर ख इज लिंक्ड विद द साउंड ख एंड हाउ द लेटर प वुड बी लिंक्ड विद सो द इमेज एंड देन द साउंड दे हैव टू बी अप्लाइड टुगेदर इन द मेमोराइजेशन टेक्निक एंड द चाइल्ड हैज टू रिव्यू एंड ऑल दीज आर द कॉग्नेटिव स्ट्राटेजीज एंड वंस यू रिव्यू रिव्यूंग डजेंट मीन दैट द चाइल्ड हैज टू डू इट ऑन द सर्फेस रिव्यूंग विल गो ऑन at the back of the mind all the time unconsciously ko lekhila mane pila ta jani parthibo je mu aji dhara akha chakka jo ame padhutile kimba nal kimba pani or mane jaha bi ame lekhu chanti matra diyantu ki aakar akar diyantu ki dukta khir lekhantu apanankar image sangre sound ku connect hoba darkar sei jo connect ta asuchi seta memorization jariya re ase ta pare apan kon karibe cognitive strategy cognitive strategy re apan practice karibe आउ जत्ते प्रैक्टिस करबे आपन को आपन कॉग्निटिवली सते शार्प हेबे लाइक द मोर यू प्रैक्टिस शार्पर यू बिकम कॉग्निटिवली एंड यू अप्लाई योर एनालाइजिंग एंड द रीजनिंग स्किल्स टू लर्न द लैंग्वेज तापरे कॉग्निटिवली भी हमको इनपुट कोन मिलुची मो जते बेले कहू छी लिंग्विस्टिक एनवायरमेंट रो कथा तो आपन केमिति लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक एनवायरमेंट दैट यू आर इन इट आल्सो डिसाइड्स हाउ नाइसली और हाउ एफर्टलेसली um the child is going to pick up the language so if your linguistic environment is rich your language learning strategies would be uh, would be better and if your linguistic environment is not as rich as maybe another person like another child then um the 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 teacher has to make more efforts so that the child will practice more the more practice and better language learning strategies you would have to ta pare apan kar achi compensation compensation re apan kon karbe jo jo limitations ro hoti कहला बेले कि लिखला बेले जो लिखुंत स्पीकिंग और रईट दिटा जाक असुविधा रोचे से जो लिमिटेशन गुडा को आपति ओवरकम करेंगे आपंकर कौन कौन टार्गेट रहा दरकार कौन कौन स्ट्राटेजी आप फलो करवा दरकार के प्राक्ट करवा दरकार से गुडाक आप पिला को बतेबे तालोले जाए कि देन ओवरकम यू नो दे अल्सो गैस गैसी इंटेलीजेन्टली इज अल्सो अ कंपेनसेसन स्ट्राटेजी आप गैस करेंगे जे मान वर्ड पर आउ कौन आस घर को जाऊँ पिला कह घर को किलोकियाल वर्जन अच्छे कि भेरिया अच्छे जो कहते मान जिमी मु खाइमी सो दिस दिस आर द डिफरेंट भेरिट स्पेशली आई कम फ्रम भद्रक भद्रक सब कहे जिमी घर को जाती आसती कितना से गुडाक तो आम क्लासरूम कहपर मैंने कहीं गोटे पर्टिकुला रिजनाल भेरिटी तो तेणु आमको कह पड़ा से इंटेलीजेन्टली गैस करेंगे जदिव से कहते हैं गोटे रकम से लिखा लिखा स्टाइल टाइम डिफरेन्ट हाँ दरकार आ स्पीकिंग रईट भेजे जो डिफरेन्स रोच दे सुड भी एबल टू आईडेटिफाई एंड दे सुड अल्सो भी एबल टू ओवरकम द द चैलेंजेस दैट दे हाव सो अल दिज आर इन द डायरेक्ट स्ट्राटेजी से मेमोरइज करने पड़ो कग्नेटिवली प्राक्ट करने पड़ो आनालीस रिजनिंग करने पड़ो आपर कौन इनपुट आसला कौन आउटपुट हम से डिड कर लिंग्विस्टिक एनवायरमेंट उपर तापर इंडायरेक्ट स्ट्राटेजी में कौन हम जो जाऊँच मेटाकग्नेटिव मेटाकग्नेटिव स्ट्राटेजी आप कौन लिखे यू हाव टू अरेज एंड प्लां योर लर्णिंग यू व्वेन आई से यू आई एम टकिंग अबाउट प्राइमेली द लर्नर्स तो से प्लां करने पड़ो इवाल्युएट करने पड़ो सो प्लानिंग लर्णिंग एंड एंड इवाल्युएट अल अफ दिज सरी अरेजिंग प्लानिंग एंड इवाल्युएट अल द थ्री थिंगस हाव टू विन एट द मेटाकग्नेटिव लेवल तो आपर मेटाकग्नेटिव लेवल मैंने बियंड कग्निशन जीवाप व्हाट आर द व्हाट आर द बिफोर वर्क दैट यू डू व्हाट आर द आफ्टर वर्क दैट यू डू बिफोर वर्क इज योर प्लानिंग आफ्टर वर्क इज गोइंग टू बी द एक्जिक्यूशन सो ऑल ऑफ दिस दे हैव टू बी डन इन द इन द इनडायरेक्ट स्ट्राटेजी लेवल तापर से आ गए से अफेक्टिव अफेक्टिव स्ट्राटेजी जब पिला भितर एंजाइटी बहुत रोच लांगुएज लर्णिंग स्लो हो जाफेक्टिव लर्णिंग एफेक्टिव स्ट्राटेजी यू हाव टू मेक् सियोर द द एंजाइट अफ द चाइल्ड हाज बी लो वर्ड एंड दे सुड बी एनकरेज and you should not nitpick always it's okay prescriptive rules are not absolute we all uh, like we must refer to the descriptive rules so even if uh, even if we follow a certain set of patterns 
we must be accommodating enough we must be inclusive enough so manku amku encourage kariya pai padibo jodi bi tikke tikke kothi bhul bhal hochi seta effective strategies re jibo so manku you make sure their anxiety is lowered you make sure they they are self encouraging as well as you are encouraging them and uh, emotionally bi semane kete vulnerable achanti we have to check that ei tin ta jinsa anxiety encouragement our emotional vulnerability ei tin ta asuchi apan ko effective strategy you have to make sure they are emotionally stable they are encouraging enough like you are encouraging enough as a teacher and you are also helping them to lower their anxiety jodi ei tin ta jaka apan ko if you keep in check then the language learning process is going to be smoother and eventually a social strategy किसी पे आप क्लास नोटिस करेंगे किसी पे बहुत कथ कहते आग धाड़ी में बसवे कि द्वितीय धाड़ी में बसवे आउ कि पे पचर बस आईदर बदमाशी करेंगे ना कौन करेंगे ना दे गेट डिसोसीएटेड दे गेट लुफ सो दो कैंड अफ सो यू हू टार्गेट दुआर फिलिंग लुफ एंड दोज हू आर ट्राइम टू यू नो दे हाव डिसोसीएटेड टेन्डेन्सी तो से यू हू आस् क्वेश्चन मेक सोर्ट दैट द चिलड्रेन हू आर नट स्पीकिंग you categorically um uh, categorically focus on them and then ask questions try to uh, try to ask other students to cooperate with them peer learning is very important uh, and then also make sure the learning has been like you you are emphasizing how the learning um learning this language is going to be useful for them so that's what we are going to have in the social strategies so directly apan se man kar cognitive temperament ko tap karibe indirectly apana semanankar mental abilities could uh, tap kare so when when you are talking about cognitive strategies talk about the intelligence that they have and when you talk about intelligence or slash rather i would say competence and when you are talking about the meta cognitive or the indirect strategies primarily talk about the effective ones which will uh, which deals with anxiety emotions um and then encouragement also making them sociable and in the social strategies that you are trying to you should you should make sure they are being a part of your class they are not sidelined they are not feeling aloof they are not you know they are not dissociated from the from the teaching learning process so all of these they they would come under the category of um indirect strategy and this is the last slide that i have related to odia odia remember count way um i have already given you certain examples and i am also running short of time if i uh, if i understand it correctly um so um primary difficulties ami dekhu understanding vocabulary our faulty narration pronunciation glitches wrong identification of alphabet mo gote par gote khali jaldi kahi debe apanku apan mane as a teacher you 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 also understand how to uh, work on it the uh, understanding vocabulary is a is a difficult task and then it's not difficult only for odia for a non native speaker you pick and choose any language am apai jehetu for example i am not a native speaker of english so as you so english vocabulary is difficult for me similarly imagine the child who doesn't come from an odia speaking household so odia vocabulary is going to be difficult for them so this is one of the challenges or this is one of the issues that we have to address and this is one of the difficult areas that the children trade into so we have to make sure uh, the the vocabulary is is easy to them as much as possible to begin with gradually you can make it complex and sometimes what happens our narration style is also difficult jethe bele ame samanu ko comprehension padhauchu ba comprehension reading comprehension douchu um the faulty narration of the teacher could also be fatal uh, to learn this language apan jodi bhali ki mane punctuation mark thik re padhu na ti apan ko reading style jethe faulty achi tale it will also lead to the um lead to difficulties in learning technology in in, in learning strategies tapre pronunciation glitches rahuchi jo ta apan kahile badi choti bitre jo difference hindi re achi kintu odia re nahi am pai kali la re harsaikar nadi da re dirghaikar kintu am bitre se difference nahi um sunna sa re dirghaikar sorry sa re harsaikar um au rupa rupa maybe ra re dirghaikar if i correct me if i am wrong mu thik kahuchi probably mate laguchi um tenu sunna aur rupa bhitre rupa rupa ta dirgho kar ki nahi e tike mate clear kar parbe ki rupa dirgho kar dirgho kar madam madam har harsho kar harsho kar harsho kar okay se tike check karibe madam rupa dirgho kar rupa dirgho kar okay se tabe ami sunna versus rupa nau chanti ami kahila pe okay कहला बेले आमे समान कहि दो छि किंतु लेखिया लेखिला बेले डिफरेंस रहु छि सेतरे तेनु ए जो प्रोनंसिएशन ग्लिचेस पे तादरे रहु छि किछि जगह स जगह और रॉन्ग आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ अल्फाबेट पे होउ छि मानिनी मैम आपण किछि कहउ छन दे 
अलग तेनो आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ रॉन्ग अल्फाबेट अल्फाबेट रे मु इंग्लिश रे अल्फाबेट लेखि दै छी किंतु ओडिया रे हबो मात्रा जुक्ताक्षर फळा सो सब गुडा के मिसैला बेलकु हम पई इट कुड बी अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट फॉर द चिल्ड्रन टू मेमोराइज थिंग्स तो तेनो ए टू डिफिकल्टीज मोस्ट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन विल हैव अंडरस्टैंडिंग वोकैबुलरी फॉल्टी नरेशन प्रोनंसिएशन ग्लिचेस एंड रॉन्ग आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ अल्फाबेट व्हिच इंक्लूड्स ऑल ऑफ दिस ओडिया रे हमर जहा जहा सब अछि जुक्ताक्षर फळा मात्रा अम तेनो एगुडा को ए डिफिकल्टी को हम केमिति ओवरकम करबा त तापे सोल्यूशन कोन कोन मोर प्रपोजल फॉलोइंग आई थिंक आई एम फॉलोइंग प्राइमरीली अम अम हुज वर्क वेंडन एंड देन कैरोन्स वर्क आई एम फॉलोइंग सो माय सोल्यूशन वुड बी द द द लर्नर शुड डेवलप अ राइट काइंड ऑफ रीडिंग हैबिट बीट एनी लैंग्वेज मो इंग्लिश पढेला बेले बे सेक होजी ओडिया पिलन को भी हम हमें सही आही कहबा as much as possible start reading um you know as regularly and as much as possible both quality and quantity deeta jakar reading aur jodi reading jo jaha apan padhu chundi sethire hi jodi spelling re mistakes rahibo tahale se reading de kichi value nahi so qualitative reading and quantitative reading read more and read quality work um if you don't do that then uh, then the then um this cannot be considered as a solution so right kind of reading habit should be developed pronunciation drills must be done um jad jodi um mane hindi kahutiba pila da odia odia class re achi tenu se jo sa sa bitre difference rochi badi choti au jo apanang harso dirgho harso dirgho difference ta jo rochi amara to speech se seta nahi ki amara writing re achi tenu that that uh, kind of a, like the child has to go through pronunciation drills regularly as much as possible i understand one of the challenges we language teachers we face is that most of our classrooms are crowded um satipai it's it becomes difficult for us to address individual concerns of the children however having said that uh, we we always try to make an attempt to address the individual concerns as much as possible so key term it ho cha as much as possible so make sure the children go through the pronunciation drills word study and writing practices as much as possible we should give a lot of workbooks are available now um aguru ete milu nathila mu jete bale maybe when i was a little uh, child uh, going to school we didn't have enough uh, study materials available now we have a lot of uh, you know kind of um oral oral and visual uh, method centric workbooks and worksheets so make them uh, do a lot of word study and writing practices to be given and uh, depending on the needs of the learners oral oral and visual methods to be deployed some people like some children are visual learners some people are oral learners and some people are oral learners so uh, listening hearing and visual all of these all the three technologies or all the three three methods to be deployed judiciously depending on the individual needs of the children in spite of having all the challenges that we have time constraint overcrowded classroom um, not fully trained teachers uh, so all these issues um, most of the language teachers they feel like most of the language teaching classrooms they have so we should first make sure that we understand now we go back to the first slide that i had i must have a good comprehension of my subject matter what i am teaching mo odia jodi padhu chi odia ro grammar odia ro writing style odia ro एसबो को मु निजे भली के जानिथवा दरकार एंड इफ आई डोंट नो दैट देन ऑब्वियसली माय टीचिंग लर्निंग अ प्रोसेस इज एंटायरली गोइंग टू बी फॉल्टी सो लॉट ऑफ ओनर्स इज ऑन अस ऑन द टीचर्स ऑन द इंस्ट्रक्टर्स सो इफ वी टेक इट अप फ्रॉम हियर दैट वी वी हैव टू स्टार्ट 
uh, depending on um, depending on on our uh, need of, of of the classroom that we have, we have to devise our own teaching learning methods. But to just to wrap it up, to put it together, direct method, indirect method, you have to distinguish and then you have to deploy. What are the cognitive strategies you have to use, and what are the metacognitive strategies or the or the beyond cognition or the metacognitive learning strategies that you have to de uh, develop and what sort of solutions you can bring to the to the difficulties that the children face you can always change depending on the needs of uh, of the classroom so thank you i think i took a little more time but um, questions are most welcome to have a doubt thank you thank you pankas yeah yeah thank you so much uh, dr sahu for setting the tone